Hey, what's going on? My name is Louis. Today is October 25th, 2024, and God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have a big breaking news update, and it says here, the FBI to the Red Dragon. How dare you hack our phones? We have more breaking news. Look at this one here. This is a big win for the R. N C. It says here, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, a federal court that oversees cases in Texas, Mississippi, and Louisiana, a ruled that all mail must arrive by November the 5th. That's a big breaking news there, guys. We have more information coming out. Look at this one. Federal authorities have cuffed a sleeping giant postal worker for discarding thousands of pieces of mail, including the November mail. We have a lot more, guys, but before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. We have more breaking news. Look at this one here. Virginia forced to add the new people to November. Virginia forced. I mean, again, we have the Sleeping Giant Constitution. The Sleeping Giant citizens are the only ones that are supposed to go out November, not the new ones. So we're going to get to all this here, guys. We have more breaking news updates. And I wasn't supposed to show that picture there, but... Uh, Arizona, look at this. November mail. Damaged after USPS uh, another another mailbox. Another mailbox. So the person has been cuffed. What in the world is going on here? And it seems like these people are being sent by the L E F T. Guys, I just posted this video not too long ago. This link will be in the comments box. The Sleeping Giant State Department issued an alert for today, urging Sleeping Giant citizens worldwide to exercise caution amid calls for the rise at Sleeping Giant and the Holy Land facility. All right, so that link will be in the comments box. A little update about uh, our close family member, uh, Hannah, thank you so much again for supporting Hannah. She's doing great and her young one He's again. He's doing great. So thank you so much for the prayer. Thank you so much for your support um, Again, thank you so much for the Amazon uh, wish list uh, gift uh, Again, she got I mean she received a, a couple of uh, amazing items baby wipes and diapers and stuff like that Thank you so much for helping this young mom and her uh, beautiful son. Thank you so much for that. Uh, again, I'm going to leave the her PayPal link and the Amazon link in the comments box for those that uh, want to support her. A single mom that ha has been through very, very tough time uh, in her relationship. So please continue to pray for her. All right. So let's go back to the story here. Let me just remove this really quick. So you have the FB, you know who, to the Red Dragon. How dare you hack our phones? <laughs> so the agency and others have called out the Red Dragon for allegedly sneaking into the Sleeping Giant telecommunication system, warning them with a firm, cut it out. You better cut it out. After detecting activity in the sector, they notified impact the companies, offered technical help, and started sharing info to prevent future breaches. Now, we encourage any organization that believes it might be a victim to engage its local agency, field, office, or CISA. But honestly, who thinks the Red Dragon going to pack up and leave just because they got a warning? <laughs> Wow. Joint statement from the agencies on PRC activity targeting tele telecommunications. 
The sleeping giant gov is investigating the unauthorized access to commercial telecommunication infrastructure by actors affiliated with the Red Dragon. After the agency identified specific malicious activity targeting the sector, multiple agency, including cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency, immediately notify affected companies, rendered technical assistance, and rapidly shared info to assist other potential victims. The investigation is ongoing and we encourage any organization that believes it might be a victim to engage its local agency field office or CISA or CSAR. Agency across the sleeping giant gov are collaborating to aggressively mitigate, excuse me, mitigate this warning and are coordinating with our industry partners to strengthen cyber defenses across the commercial communication sector. All right, so this is a very important update. Now you guys already know, I did post a video, Donald and the VP, they got hit, their phone were hacked. All right, so you have the agency responding. All right, so we are close to nine days away. Nine days away from November. And we got good news coming out. Very, very important good news. Okay, so it says here, breaking big win for RNC. It's about time this is a win. So Fifth Circuit orders November day deadline. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, a federal court that oversees cases in Texas, Mississippi, and Louisiana ruled that all mail must arrive by November. This overrules state laws that allow some late. See, that's the problem. That's what got it in 2020. The late mails. And the reason why they were late is because the excuse was there was a lockdown worldwide and this and that. So, again, all that late mail, that's it. And the reason they do the late mail is because they want to see where they at when it comes to you know trying to take certain states um again remember the four or five he won but days later they uh brought in the uh the late arriving boxes put it like that and it took some of the states away from uh the four or five all right so once again this overrules states laws that allow some late boxes to be counted if they were mailed on time. Supporters like the RNC say this ensure clear result on November. Opponents argue it could disenfranchise uh, many who rely on mail delays. But well, here's the thing, enough with the you know with the mail, just show up in person the way it used to be back in the days. Alright, so that's the big breaking news. All right, so we have more news. This thing is getting really, really hot. It's happening almost every day. So Florida, um, it says here, federal authorities have cuffed a sleeping giant mail carrier, I'm going to skip his name, accused of dumping over 1,000 pieces of, you know what, including 400 others. Again, we're talking about November love letters in a wooden area instead of delivering them on his Orlando, Florida route. According to core documents, a co-worker reported to you-know-who manager that he returned unusually early despite leaving with a large amount of mail. GPS data showed this individual had diverted to a wooden area where this co-worker later found scattered mail. You best believe this is happening in other states too. Oh yes, it's happening in other states. I can name California. California is one of them. Actually, uh, one individual said they found a whole bunch of mail in the drain uh, um, underground. So it, it, it just, you know, that's what's going on nowadays. This is all about November. The Red Dragon's getting involved in November. Everybody's getting involved in November. This thing is, again, like I said, nine days away. Virginia forced to add the new ones. 
I mean, unbelievable. So this person slams a judge order to reinstate the new ones to Virginia uh, November event just days before the president, you know what, elects. Let's be clear about what just happened. Only 11 days before November, a judge order Virginia to reinstate over 1,500 individuals who self-identified themselves as the new ones back onto the world. Wow. This person vows to fight back, appealing to the Fourth Circuit and possibly the Sleeping Giant Supreme Court. I mean, come on. It's, it, it's common sense. They're not supposed to be a November event. It says the LEFT is trying everything they can to stop the 4-5. Unbelievable. Alright, give me a second here, guys. Unbelievable. Never seen anything like this ever in my life. But everything... But here's the thing. Everything was... Uh, Everything is being caught on time. See, back in 2020, everything happened after November. And that's what kind of messed everything up. George just posted something. This changes everything. Once, uh, once again, Congress uh, statutorily I truly apologize about the word. Designated a singular day for the November of members of Congress and the appointment of the president electors. Text, precedent, and historical practice confirm. This day for the November is the day by which the boxes must be both cast by VOTERS and received by the state official. Because Mississippi statute allowed the boxes received up to five days after the November 5th, it is preempted by federal law. We, re uh, we reverse the district court's contrary judgment and remain for further proceeding. See, that's the thing that really hurts is that uh, November 5th is the last day. But they gave them extra five days in 2020, and that's what kind of hurt the 4-5. Those uh, those boxes, and you guys know what I'm saying. When again, the males is what hurt uh, the four or five, because this is a decision by one of the highest courts in the nation. It impacts November everywhere. The joy I'm feeling right now is unbelievable. This one decision has done more to restore November integrity than anything I've ever seen. God bless the fifth. Circuit. This is going to piss off the L-E-F-T. This is going to piss them off. And, um, yeah. Well, boo-hoo. Because uh, the only one that gets to V-O-T-E-S is the Sleeping Giant Citizens. Alright, guys. I want to bring this up really quick here. I... I'm trying to figure out what's this here. 15 billion plus political text sent this cycle. Political campaigns have sent more than 15 billion text messages. My goodness. Uh, this elect cycle with uh, weekly messages estimated to hit 1 billion per week. Wow. As November nears. The sta uh, this staggering volume has led to widespread... Uh, blank complaints about text messages, fatigue, and privacy concerns. Despite the outcry, text messages remain a low-cost way for campaigns to reach uh, many with reminders and fundraising appeals. This cycle record-breaking cost projected to exceed $16 billion after all campaign spending have fueled even more 
outreach efforts via text message, social media, and traditional ads. All right. Here's Elon. Elon said that would be a great move. All right, guys. So this is where we are right now. Once again, bringing you the break, uh, big breaking news updates, and um, someone just post this one here. Let me bring this one up. The Red Dragon owned farmland in the Sleeping Giant. We did talk about this, and I can't believe they had one in my deal base. This one here. Unbelievable. Yep, the Red Dragon is very close to us. They're keeping an eye on the Sleeping Giant citizens and the military. And of course, the Sleeping Giant, I mean, the, the Red Dragon is keeping their eye on November 5th. All right, so once again, guys, please share the video. I'm going to keep it updated uh, as we get closer and closer to November. Boy, oh boy, there's a lot of laws are being passed and uh, some good news for the right side. And um, the other side is forcing Virginia to put back the new people on the poll put them back again that's going to be a big big uh uh court uh dealing issue right there now again guys so uh, you have a uh, Laura Tr Trump she has over 500 uh lawyers and again everybody has lawyers uh they're going to uh, make sure this time what happened in 2020 does not happen again 2024 Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, please share the video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.